coronavirus sucks. I just want to have a quick rant about coronavirus. First thing, it sucks. Like the whole day, I'm just sitting here wanting to go outside and just do something. In this time, it makes you want to go outside even more just because you can't. Second thing is it's like you're being trapped in a prison. Like you can't get out. It's effect on like your mental health. Like you're just being drained, being cooped up away from all like social interaction absolutely just kills you just because you have no source of outlet. It's just so boring. But oh well, not much you can really do. You know, everyone's going through it. Just gonna sit through it. New day, new ideas. So after discussing with this guy, Elliot, who's right here, we decided that we'd try and attempt this challenge. So pretty much what this challenge is, is to try to get everyone outside during coronavirus, but it still be okay. Giving people extra motivation to go outside and do a little bit more exercise. Okay, so the people who will be doing this challenge are Harriet, Elliot, Matt, Julian, David, Mackenzie, Oscar, Molly, Max, and Jack. You sound completely enthused. So we're all going to attempt to do this as our own little challenge to try and just be more active during this time. So pretty much what's going to happen is the following. The coastline of Australia is 2,137 kilometers long and there are going to be 11 of us, which means that we'll have to do 194.3 kilometers each. Quite a lot of people have jobs and uni and other kind of stuff that they need to attend to. We have to adapt it and have no time limit. Because the whole point of this is trying to get people to just have extra motivation and not get bogged down and get behind and everything. Now also because of quarantine, we can't exactly go outside. So what we're gonna have to do is we go from home and we do it individually. And so it is doing the equivalent of the coastline of Australia. So once we add up everyone's kilometers, we will get to this number. So for example, you could go for a run, you could go for a swim, you could go for an erg, you could literally do anything where distance is measured to eventually get to 2,137 kilometers. And another quick thing, the person who contributes the most will probably get a prize, and the person who does the least will have to do a punishment of some sort. I will be providing weekly updates and that stuff, trying to just show how much people have done, how much progress we're making, So week one is coming to an end and I thought I'd do a bit of a summary of this first week in this vlog. So yeah, I'd say it's going pretty well. Like a lot of people are getting into it and like doing their part and really getting the kilometers up, which is absolutely awesome. There was a little bit of a struggle of getting people to actually put in their photos that they wanted to use. And we got sent some of these. Also, right off the start, Jack tried to claim that this was him, except very quick could tell that it's probably not. <laughs> Elliot started us off and was absolutely smashing it. His running style was a little bit unique. <laughs> Molly then attempted to vlog, of which she then made fun of me, so Molly, I now hate you. Hey, this is Molly. <laughs> Feel stupid. She then sent this photo to the group chat of which it was very quickly edited. Thank you, David. She didn't appreciate it very much. And then this absolute golden boy decided he'd have a go at the vlogging and he did an all right job. As you can tell, competitiveness is getting a little bit heated. I have a statement to make. I don't need to be Julian. I just need to be David fucking <laughs> I'm calling for you, David. Eat shit and die. A few bike rides were made to my house, so just, just a little bit of stalking, but you know, that that's fine. That's fine. I was a... Uh... Gonna take a photo at Harry's house, but I get really scared because his dad was sweeping there. Matt then also gave us a wonderful insight into the state of his run with a masterpiece of a photo, and also him questioning 
everything. God, this is a dumb challenge. Why did I accept? That then left you with the graph of show. Um, everyone appreciated this graph and they loved it. And yeah, everyone agreed that it was the best graph they ever saw. <coughs> Jack! <coughs> As you can see, Ellie is absolutely smashing it. He's got 30% of the total, around 400 Ks that we've got done this week. Shout out to these two who are putting in the hard yards and really committing to getting this thing done. So Elliot is leading by more than double second place. David really needs to pick up his game because he is in last, contributing 1%. So David, if you're watching this, punishment may be coming your way.